Hey everyone, welcome back to Shree FC. I hope you all are well and good. Knowing you all are well and good is always my first priority. And hopefully you all are having a great, great weekend. Tomorrow Sunday, Chelsea is back, Stamford Bridge. Hopefully the weekend, the last day of the weekend is not ruined. But Chelsea have got happy right now ruining it. But before I start, please do the like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. It really supports the channel and means a lot to me as well. And before I start, the times are tough. You can count, you can down on Chelsea. But that picture reminds me. You can never count on Chelsea and still this club I love to bits we can be down we can be up but I always love this club and I know the great days are coming but on the important match we've got against Aston Villa it's a very very important game it's a very important game for us let's not even lie the pressure is enormous and another defeat or a draw I don't even know the toxicity in the fan base what it's going to do because it's going to become very very bad last time we played Aston Villa Stamford Bridge they beat us 2-0 in you can see one of better performance in the Graham Potter but we did not take our chances which we are doing right now and sadly after the pressure and anger from the fans Graham Potter was sacked hopefully now we don't lose to them they are a very capable side this season they've already beaten team they should be like Everton they've beaten Palace they've also beaten Burnley but they've lost to good teams like Liverpool Newcastle so that's been a bit of a problem for Aston Villa they lost in the Conference League but that was a chain side but they are overall a very good counter-attacking side and we all know what it did to us last time at Stamford Bridge so first of all starting on us and the results we are having the season right now for us is not going really well we started with a good performance against Liverpool but the first half was disastrous then we got a loss in West Ham which was very very disappointing we bounced back with a victory I guess you can see right now the uh, you can see the quality the worst team in the league in Luton I really respect them and then you go towards a loss to Nottingham Forest and another match against Bone with a team which tried to take football to us and it was easy to play behind them and we still came out with zero goals and now we have got a side which are players like Oli Watkins, Musa Diaby and still they've got Pau Torres at the back, Consa and Emilio Marites as the goalkeeper and we have to do better in this game. So coming first of all to us and the injury news we've got and our injury news is really big guys. We all know Nkuku is out for uh, still a long time. Caicedo is a doubt for this game but hopefully he's at least on the bench. Kukurela should at least be on the bench as well. And then you go towards Barrio Shele is still out. You go to Lavia, he's still out. James is still out back in training. You go to Chukameka, he's out. Wesley Fufana is out for a very long time. Armando Broja hopefully is back soon but not right now. And the same goes to Trevor Chuloba. And the injury news for Chelsea is not really ending right now. Whereas for upon us Aston Villa, Sally Tyron Mings, we all know got a very serious injury. Emil Mundi is also out for a very long time. Wishing them both the best because it was tough injuries. While Diego Carlos, he's out for this game but should be back in some time for Aston Villa. So first of all, coming on to Chelsea lineup and see, our lineups are something which are becoming a lot of talk and the fans are not happy because Pochettino is really going away from the pre-season principles and he's chopping and changing, chopping and changing lineup again and again and playing players out of position. And even if he's not chopping and changing in the last two games, now still playing Libby Colville as a left back, Chilwell sometimes as a left wing and it's not really working out for us as fans. But on the other hand, we've got such a young squad that right now the manager thinks that they are not capable of really taking on Premier League football. But right now, even with experience and playing player out of position, we're not even getting results. So the fans really want to see at least some fearless football they can take behind. So I think still, as much as we like, if Caicedo is not going to be the fit, I think the manager is going to go with very similar lineup. Sanchez, a goalkeeper, Gusto. My worry was when Pochettino in the last match press uh, post-match conference said that he was not happy fullbacks were bombing forward. But that was something I did not like from the manager, but I still believe we'll go with Gusto, Colville again, because I think he's going to be stubborn on that. Silva and Disazi again. And then it's going to be Yugo Chukwu, hopefully he has another very good game, very good debut for him. And Enzo Fernandez and Gallagher in Enzo playing even a bit more forward, which I'm not really liking. I want Enzo to be deeper, but right now the manager doesn't trust the attacking department to be that creative. Then you go to again Sterling, Mudrick and Jackson. So I think right now again there won't be any place for Cole Palmer. The only way Cole Palmer gets to the team is Gallagher gets dropped or Yugo Chukwu gets dropped. But right now with no Kaisiro, I don't think the manager will take that risk. And coming on to Aston Villa, they're going to go with the goalkeeper. Emilio Martinez, one of the top keepers in the league. They're going to go with Matty Cash, Ponsa, Pau Torres and Lucas Dean. So their fullbacks are very attacking, but that's where we can get space behind. And Douglas Luiz is a very top player with Bubaka Kamara. And it's going to be uh, John McGinn, it's going to be Musa Diabe. And it's going to be Zanilio for me in this game. And Leon Billy could come from the bench. And the striker, Oli Watkins, but he's getting a very good competition right now from Duram. Because Watkins right now is not finishing his dinner. So coming on to the final thoughts on the game and the prediction, see it's a very pressure game for us and even for Villa, I think they will be licking their lips. Villa know this is an opportunity to get the campaign properly back on track. Whenever they played good size this season, they've lost. So I think going at Stamford Bridge with fans angry and if they can keep the score to 0-0 till half time, I think Stamford which is going to be a very tough place for uh, the players to play right now because 
if Chelsea is not playing well and in 60 minutes is 0-0, adding goals, a bit of disappointment is going to show. And if the manager makes wrong and defensive substitutions, I think it's going to get very bad, very toxic. So I think Aston Villa know that they're capable of doing that. They know Thiago Silva and Desauzi are not the quickest centre-backs. And with Oli Watkins and Diaby running behind them, I think they're going to be a very confident side. Coming out of Chelsea, the same with us as well. Aston Villa are a very beatable side for me right now. Matty Cash and Lucas Dean are going to give you spaces. With Sterling and Mudrick should really capitalise on. I still think in the middle, Enzo Fernandez and Gallagher should be dominating that midfield. As much as I like Douglas uh, Luis and uh, Kamara, I still believe that Enzo Fernandez, Gallagher and Yuguchupu should be doing a bit better. Because physically, you've got a 6-4 foot uh, midfielder. Enzo Fernandez is a very good passer of the ball. And Gallagher can, with his intensity, cover a lot of ground. And I think defensively is a bit of worry for me. But there are no excuses in this game. See, I think for me in this game, I'm always saying whether we lose, whether we draw, whether we win. I'm absolutely with Pochettino. I think this project needs time. If anyone you have to blame, that's the owner. We are going with an under-23 project. So why blame uh, Pochettino when the guys are absolutely young? Chelsea is young boys right now, not young men. They are not men right now. And I think I don't want to put that pressure on Pochettino. Neither Pep Guardiola, neither even Jurgen Klopp, the top two managers in the league. Even they will need time with this team. Nicholas Jackson is just a 22-year-old kid. He still needs a lot to develop. So putting the pressure on them for me is not right. So I'm absolutely going to back Pochettino. But I think Chelsea fans won't be able to do that, especially with the last season. And owners, I think, have put the manager in a lot of trouble with such a young squad that the patience will only wear thin. And I think, again, it's a match against very tough opponents. I think we have to win, but I don't think we'll lose. I think we'll get a draw in this game. And the only reason I think we'll get a draw is because I think Oli Watkins and Musa Diaby behind Thiago Silva and Desazi, who are not too very good recovery-wise, and the manager wants to play high press, I think we are going to get concede two goals minimum in this game. But where I think we will get two goals is Raheem Sterling versus Lucas Dean. I think Raheem Sterling is going to cook him apart uh, in terms of attackingly. And Lucas Dean leaves a lot of spaces behind. And I think Matty Cash can be sprung apart by Makala Mudrik. But the end product of Mudrik has to be better. And I think in this game, we are more than capable of getting two goals via Raheem Sterling and could be even a deflected goal. And I think we will find a draw as Stamford Vision, a 2-2 draw. And if it's a 2-2 draw, we play good football, we get two goals. I don't think it's the worst result in the world against a very good Villa side. With that, uh, people, please let me know your prediction, your thoughts on the video and overall. Thank you everyone for watching. Wishing you the best and hopefully you all have a great, great day and a great weekend. Thank you and wishing you all the best. Thank you.